Greetings, greetings. Happy Tuesday. Um, I wanted to hop on and remind you that I do have a special going on right now for the birth chart unpacking sessions. And I wanted to mention how impactful it was for me to unpack my son's chart. Listen, once I unpack my son's chart, like I really got to understand him so much more. It really helped me to see that I need to back up. <laughs> like I was really doing a whole lot of projecting and and basically, I mean, it really what it really did is it highlighted the fact that I was really trying to treat him, you know, like he was supposed to be me, you know. And so being able to see his chart and read things about his his um read things about his being helped me to be able to accept him as is and then um be just allow him to be you know that's the biggest thing just allow him to be and what does that really mean you know as a parent of course i'm not saying that doesn't take away i'm not saying that takes away my role as a facilitator on his journey but there were some things that maybe i wouldn't have done a certain way or i wouldn't have thought a certain way or, or whatever that let's be frank sometimes as parents we project things on our children just because that's how we do it, and that's how we were raised and that's how we think but it doesn't align sometimes it doesn't align with their very being so if it don't align with their being then you know you're trying to ask something of them that's outside of themselves which is going to always cause problems cause issues and so I just wanted to hop on and just one, remind you that I do have that special happening. And two, encourage you to get it not only for yourself, but if you are a parent, use that session. Book one for you so you can get to know yourself a bit more by learning your chart. And then book another one and we can go through your your um, child or your children's chart. You know, you will have to book one separately for each one because trust me, when we do the session, it takes all the time. I need that full hour. We're going to need that full hour because um, I want to make sure we get through all of the basics and then deep dive into at least a couple, or two or three of your planets so that we can see how we can take that information and you can utilize that on your journey um, What and how you use it. So these sessions, in these sessions, what I do is I show you, first of all, how to interpret your charts. The different components and aspects to the chart so you can understand what you're seeing what it's talking about um we go in a little bit about what each what the planets represent what the houses represents what the signs represents you know i highlight some of the ones that you definitely want to pay attention to um we talk a little bit about aspects we don't get too deep into the aspect part but i at least show you that hey yes this is your chart and this you know your moon may be in in this house and Gemini or whatever but your moon may also be impacted by a planet just depends on the aspect because your moon could be conjuncting something or squaring something and that will have another dynamic um so getting to know your aspects is that powerful too but yeah just wanted to quickly hop on and just talk about how beneficial and just say how beneficial it was for me to pull my child's chart I did it around um he was in middle school. I found myself having a hard time communicating with him. I found myself irritated with him a lot. And just like, it was just too much. And I knew it was me. I I, I, I knew it was, I felt like it was me. I'm like, let me see something. <laughs> and so I went and pulled his chart. I read, I was like, wow. And it just helped me to just kind of relax a little bit and let him, and, and, and it helped me to reflect upon how can I allow him to be him and still teach or um uh, uh be an example for him that can in a way that can help him to understand life principles and the different things that i feel are important because that's the main thing you know i think as parents we want to focus on the main reason why we try to control or govern our children's behavior is because we want them to make sure that they're okay we want to make sure that they they are well-rounded we want to make sure that they are you know um perceptive we want to make sure you know of these things to make sure that they are good in life and so 
you know once you know more about them that's very helpful in you doing that does that make sense i hope that makes sense that's the best way that i can really say it so yeah um ch hit the link in bio here on instagram if you're watching this on instagram and it's in the link in the caption if you're watching this on youtube to check out that uh, special i have going for this month for the birth chart unpacking i love to do these sessions it's always it's always um interesting and it's funny because you know a lot of times when people see it they go oh my god like when you read it and you start get when you start to really get into it you like wow and the biggest thing for me it just it helps you to not go so hard on yourself it helps you to understand yourself it helps you to let go of other people's judgments and all of these different things because you're like this is me you know it also helps you to see yourself and see areas that maybe you want to improve upon areas you may want to um you may want to um really amplify you know you you'll see your strengths and then you'll see your areas in need of improvement so that's what the chart that's how the chart helps but don't just get it for you if you're a parent it is very helpful to have your child's chart it really is and i listen i go into spouse too and at a certain point i pulled my mama's like anybody who you really want to vibe with um in a balanced way anybody who you find valuable in your life you know i think it's valuable for you to know their chart um the verdict is out on whether you should pull people's chart without asking them <laughs> that's what i'm thinking about as i'm sharing that but um you know especially in relationships and all of that you definitely should pull charts you definitely should know you know, you may know their sun sign, but do you know their moon sign? And do you know their Mercury and their Venus and their Jupiter and Mars? You know what I mean? Because those things have a great impact, you know, especially that moon. You don't, you know the sun, but you don't know their moon sign. The sun sign is how they show up in this world, you know, and, and how they're presenting themselves, how they present themselves in this world. The moon is the really the real inner being, you know. That's really how they feel on the inside, you know what I mean? And then the 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 venus is going to tell you a lot about how they function in relationships the mercury is going to tell you a lot about how they communicate and some of the things that they deal with when it comes to communication you know the chiron is going to talk about their wounds and their trauma oftentimes so when you know these things um you can be easy with judgment and stuff like it's just really helpful so all right y'all uh, peace and love check out the link in bio to learn more about that special and um i hope to see you this month and be able to help you to learn more about yourself <laughs> peace y'all